I think I tried to read the book, but I'd got a bit sort of uh, confused. <laughs> the plot of this show. You tell me. The plot. Um... So simple. <clears throat> the scripts are complicated. A lot of things to grasp and keep hold of. Oh, crikey. Who is this Dirk Gently? Dirk Gently? From college. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency by Douglas Adams. Oh, Douglas Adams, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. The light works, the gravity works, anything else we'll have to take our chances with. Look, Dirk, this is none of your business. Dirk Gently is a book about coincidence, the holistic approach. Only a holistic detective can end up in the right place at the right time for what, on the face of it, are all the wrong reasons. So I think that a sofa, they'll get stuck in a staircase. Every time I see his computer screen, he's got a picture of a sofa spinning on it, and I'm not... <laughs> ...must probably, inevitably, holistically... I'm not writing any of this down, you know. ...be related to uh, space-time. The computer has maintained its orbit and ghosts. Oh, I can get the message, you're a ghost! And murders. Mr. Way was strangled after he was shot. That have happened in a completely different part of the country or in a different century. Did Coleridge ever try to use your time machine? I don't understand what any of this means. Richard, what is going on? But I'm going to find out. Right, here we go. The main story concerns a young chap called Richard Macduff. My character's coming back from a dinner at Cambridge University with his old professor. I play Professor Cronotis, uh, Cambridge Don. See if you can find the sofa. It's probably under something. This time lord, really, but never described as such in the story. Really Tell me much. more about your work, my dear chen. Accountancy software. That's where the money is. He forgot to bring his girlfriend, who he promised to take to the dinner. Richard! Yep. More attack from everybody. She's in love with Richard. Richard frustrates the hell out of her. Stupid. So I need to get rid of the message before she hears it and dumps me for good, OK? Really? I have a feeling there's more. Well, there isn't. Is Mr Gently in? Yes. Good. Or no. I'm playing Janice, who is Dirk Gently's slightly surly secretary. Answering the phones properly is good for business, and I'd like to see his fancy brass plaque do that! She is just brilliant, and uh, I'm the biggest Peep Show fan there is. I think the main bone of contention is that Janice hasn't been paid. If you'll excuse me. I'd like to storm out, please! Oh, feel free. For once I do! Goodbye, Michael. Are you, um, you haven't seen a monk, have you? No! I play the electric monk. Electric monk. Electric monk, revision B. An electric monk who rides a horse and comes from outer space means it's a Douglas story. But Toby's on the distort, yeah? Now they're going to film me and use it against me. <laughs> I'll just carry on in this voice. An electric monk is, is, a, is a, a creation that believes things for you, so you can get on with your life. Getting it to believe things was easy. Getting it to believe them for more than brief periods was impossible. This is what it is to be an electric monk. To endure the ramblings of a half-wit in a hoodie hoping to cop an insanity plea. This is the lot of a 21st century copper. In the end, I told him to shoot off. I believe in yesterday. Chance from being there meets Hal from 2001. Exactly. Yeah. I believe this is a weapon. I am instructed to shoot off. I want them to hemorrhage. Gordon gets shot. Morning, Detective Sergeant Jukes. Less of the chit chat. They think you kill Gordon, but what? The expenses are not negotiable and are all necessary eventually. Am I hired? I talk. Must be a ghost. My resistance to possession is highly developed, unlike my resistance to pizza. I have encountered two more ghosts than I actually believe in. What's the professor doing? How, do, how is he involved in this story? Where is it? Where is what? The time machine? Well, he's got a time machine, obviously. Oh, that! We're standing in it! You do seem to have a horse in your bathroom. I know Bilbo, but I'd never met Billy Bo. Click my fingers and you will wake and forget all of this. Oh, where? Gee, way, Esquire, it is you. I've got an erection! Reggie! I'd sooner slam my nipples in a car door. Foot still troubling her? Oh, no, sir. <clears throat> Not since the amputation. Oh, I think Harry inhabits Dirk gently, brilliantly. It's incredibly exciting. We've got a new Douglas Adams hero made flesh. You have 30 seconds to suit up. Saving human race from extinction. No charge. 